breaking now at 6:30. A fight between two groups with tragic consequences. Details on the shooting that left one person dead and three others hurt. Plus, three separate incidents where suspects were shot by law enforcement. We've got the latest on the shootings this weekend. And here's a preview of those rain chances for your Christmas Eve. We got another round just on our heels. I'll show you what's expected to come down on us in just a couple minutes. KHOU 11 Morning News starts now. Well, we are starting off with a live look outside on this December 24th Christmas Eve. You're also taking a live look at Radar. Good morning, I'm Katira Winfrey. And I'm meteorologist Kim Castro. Well, Kim, rain or shine, Santa's behind us. <laughs> it won't stop him and his team of reindeer for getting into the skies tonight. Yes, we are certainly seeing that reindeer working overdrive. Rudolph has got his bright nose trying to light the way because those rain chances are going to stick around. Well, now to breaking news overnight. One man is dead and multiple other men shot after a fight between two groups ended with a massive shootout. This happened around three this morning near a bar and restaurant on Glen Vista Street. We're told the southbound Monroe exit for Gulf Freeway is shut down, which is one of the main exits for Hobby Airport. Uh, the one male tried to run away. He ran to the service road right there at Gulf Freeway and Monroe uh, where he collapsed from his wounds. Um, there were other individuals who then fled in a blue Toyota Tundra. It appears that they stole that truck. Five individuals left in that truck. Four of them were dropped off at an area hospital with gunshot wounds. And we're told the shootout left dozens of casings on the ground, creating a large scene for officials to investigate. We're told some of the stray bullets hit nearby businesses. Right now, HPD is working to get surveillance video from inside the bar and interview witnesses. Also breaking, Houston firefighters were racing to an emergency call with lights flashing and sirens blaring when someone crashed into the fire truck. According to Houston police, they suspect the driver of the other car was under the influence at the time. She was taken to a hospital to be checked out. The crash happened just before midnight at the intersection of Cross Timbers and Avon Street. One suspect is dead and two other suspects hurt after three separate shootings involving members of law enforcement. All three of these incidents happened yesterday within just hours. It all started just before 1 a.m. A man was seriously hurt after a shooting involving an off-duty sheriff's deputy. Then, not even two hours later, a deputy and a teen were both shot. We'll have more on those shootings in a moment, but our Troy Kless joins us from outside of Walmart in League City, where a man was killed yesterday afternoon. And Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says an off-duty deputy was involved in a shooting. The deputy was apparently working security at a bar on Tomball Parkway. According to the sheriff's office, just before 1 a.m. Saturday, some people involved in a fight were brought outside the bar when one of them pulled out a weapon. The off-duty deputy told the man to drop it, but when he didn't, the deputy opened fire. The suspect was taken to a hospital in critical condition. This weekend, a deputy is recovering at home after he was shot in the hand. The suspect, a 16 year old boy, is in the hospital. It happened just after 2 a.m. Saturday on Cactus Bend near at Atascacita Road. Officials say the deputy responded to reports of someone breaking into vehicles. And now surveillance video shared by a neighbor appears to show those teens attempting to break into an SUV. As deputies arrived, one of the teens allegedly pulled out a gun and opened fire, hitting the deputy in the hand. After the shooting, the deputy radioed into dispatch. Shot fired. I'm at Dibble, Dibble, Cold River. I got one on the ground. Got two other kids ran off. I'm in the hand. And two other suspects ran from the scene. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Harris County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. Well, the time is now 637 still ahead. Major recalls in the US. Why you may want to check your car before you hit the road. Plus, one man's holiday spirit has inflated beyond control. Guess how many are in his one yard? And we'll tell you if you're right in less than three minutes. Even think about buying. And welcome back to KHOU 11 Morning News. The time is now 640. Here's a live look over downtown Houston. We're going to check back in with Kim Castro in just a few minutes. 
But now to your morning headlines, starting with major recalls from two of the world's largest automakers. Honda and its luxury brand Acura are recalling more than two and a half million vehicles in the U.S., including Accords, Civics and Odysseys. It's over a fuel pump defect that can cause stalling while driving and impacts 2017 through 2020 models. And Toyota is recalling roughly a million vehicles because of a defective airbag sensor. The recall affects various 2020 to 2022 Camry, Corolla, RAV4, Lexus, Highlander and Sienna models. Toyota says a short circuit in a sensor could cause the airbags to malfunction. And fans of comedian Pete Davidson are wondering what's up. The Saturday night alum abruptly canceled comedy shows scheduled at New York City's Beacon Theater on Friday and Saturday night. Davidson also is scrapping about a dozen other shows over the next two weeks in cities like San Antonio, Atlanta and Louisville. Ticketmaster says people with tickets will receive a full refund. So far, no comment from Davidson's representatives. And finally, one man's home is blowing up with holiday decorations. We're talking about more than 100 holiday inflatables at a single house in Peabody, Massachusetts. The owner says he started collecting decorations when he was just three years old. Once I started working and could buy them myself, I started adding a lot more. I mean, my parents would get me one every year and family members would, but once I started working, that's when it kind of exploded and turned into this. It's apparently become a tradition for local families who drive by every year and he doesn't waste any time taking them down. He says they will be boxed up on December 26th. Wow. I know, right? I saw Frosty the Snowman right there just a second ago, still bobbing along. It's not the day after Christmas yet, but it's Christmas Eve. No snow for us, but we've gotten some rain. Yeah, we sure have lots of it. Those snowmen would not like all the wind and the rain that's going on. Liable forecasts we can make plans for. Awesome. Th definitely looking forward to us drying out at least a little bit. I know. I know. I couldn't really sleep last night. I, I heard slept that just rain fine. quite a bit. You did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish I had that Katira energy. Awesome. <laughs> well, thanks, Kim. The time now is 646. Still ahead, bringing a furry friend home for the holidays, the request from Bark, and the special offer for you. Well, animal shelters are struggling to keep up with an influx of surrendered pets this time of year. Devon Roming shows us the creative ways that shelters are caring for the animals while trying to find them forever homes. For many this holiday season. And that was Devon Roming reporting. Right now, Bark is waiving all adoption fees. You can also apply to foster on the shelter's website. If you can't have a pet right now, there are other ways to help. Just visit Bark's website to donate money or sign up to volunteer. Well, the time is now 651. Still ahead, helping homeowners. The concern they brought to us for help after years of not getting an answer. Plus, Christmas tamales, who makes the best in town? Our team of tasters gets to work. And now to that Christmas tradition that come to us from south of the border. We're talking about tamales and Houston's rich Latin culture means you'll find good ones all over town. But which ones are the best? Our Anieli Ruiz gathered a team of taste testers. Well, thanks, Anieli, at KHOU.com. You can find the full list of the tamales we tested, how much we paid for them, and how our taste testers rank them. Well, the time is now 6.57, still ahead. Santa loaded up his sleigh, and the countdown is on. This morning for his stop in H-Town, how NORAD plans to track his flight. Well, starting off with a live look over Galveston on this Sunday, December 24th. Good morning, I'm Katira Winfrey here with Kim Castro. Kim, what are you tracking right now? And look a little gloomy out there in Galveston. I know, I'm tracking a slick Santa sleigh for his commute here. Well, a Houston restaurant is broken into the week before Christmas. It's become something of a holiday tradition, and the owner tells us he is sick of it. Devon Roming has the story from Cross Pizza Company in the Heights. Devon. And we have an update on a fiery crash on the North Freeway Friday night. Officials say a man was killed when his car was hit from behind. It happened just after 9 p.m. Friday in the northbound lanes near Airtex Drive. Police say a man in a 1996 Ford Crown Victoria had a flat tire 
and was driving slowly in the left lane when a man in an SUV hit him. The Ford spun and caught fire. No word right now if the driver in the SUV will face any charges. And back here in Texas, some residents in the small hill country town of Granite Shoals are outraged after city leaders were heard on an audio recording discussing the possibility of a mass euthanasia program to get rid of feral cats. We have a location on this property that's called Deer Heaven um, that I'm sure could be kitty cat heaven too. Is there any sort of mass euthani euthanasia program no. we could do? No. I mean, do we have to, are you saying that we have to trap them no matter what? And that was an excerpt from a wildlife advisory committee meeting in November. The recording was just made public and it has left many former and current Granite Shoals residents disgusted. You know, when they start worrying, you know, what happened to my, you know, my little guy, you know, the one that comes in every night and it doesn't come home. And then to find out it might have been trapped by someone who doesn't like cats or who is out trying to round them up and exterminate them. Response to the controversy, Granite Shoals Police said in a statement that its officers do not euthanize animals for population control and their policies haven't changed. Leaning utility poles, they can become safety hazards in neighborhoods and it's a problem our Grace White is continuing to investigate. Now she's sharing one resident's call for help. That'll be nice. Awesome, and I still remember what you said yesterday. We're going to have a silent night leading That's into Christmas. That's right. <laughs> I can't sing. I don't even know why I, I was know. trying to sing. But I love the idea. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Well, the time is now 717. Rain or shine, don't worry, kids. Santa is coming to town. And tonight, we'll have a special escort to Houston. Well, right now, Santa is bundled up because it's time to take to the skies. And you may not have known, but there's more than just reindeer helping Santa's sleigh get from home to home. This week, our very own Steph Simmons got a chance to talk to NORAD. KHOU 11 Morning News starts now. Well, we are starting off with a live look over Moody Gardens on this Sunday, December 24th. The Penguins are enjoying an early start on this Christmas Eve. How cute. I know. Well, good morning. I'm Katira Winfrey here with Kim Castro. Kim, what are you tracking right now? Yeah, the penguins are not going to see any snow, but they're certainly going to see a lot of rain. KHOU 11 Morning News starts now. Well, we are starting off with a live look over Moody Gardens on this Sunday, December 24th. The penguins are enjoying an early start on this Christmas Eve. How cute. I know. Well, good morning. I'm Katira Winfrey here with Kim Castro. Kim, what are you tracking right now? Yeah, the penguins are not going to see any snow, but they're certainly going to see a lot of rain. Well, hundreds of kids had a very special day as the Cactus Jack Foundation hosted its third winter wonderland and toy drive. It was held at the Opportunity Center on Chimney Rock Road. More than 2,500 toys, groceries, and other supplies were given to kids and families around Houston's Gulfton neighborhood. Neighborhood. The foundation, which was started by rapper Travis Scott, partnered with several other groups, including the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Houston, the Harris County Juvenile Probation Department, and other local leaders. Kids also got a Christmas surprise in Houston's Fifth Ward this weekend. Santa came and sat on a bench and gave each of them an early gift. Shaletta Brundage is a former KJOU employee who organized the event. She said she grew up in this neighborhood and wanted to give back after experiencing something similar during her childhood. When I was a little girl, I remember what it was like, you know, to wake up and not have everything you wanted under the tree, right? And there were always kind and generous strangers who would come by and knock on the door and, and, and drop off a doll or a game. And today I get to be that kind and generous stranger. Well, online right now, we have a list of food giveaway events. Some of these require you to register ahead of time. We have details on KHOU.com. And pickleball is the fastest growing sport in America. People love it because you don't have to be athletic or in shape to play and have fun. That being said, doctors here in Houston are seeing a surge in injuries related to the popular sport. Stephanie Whitfield has more on why this is happening. Oh, Things look good. I never tasty. thought about putting bars and Christmas together, but hey, you do what makes you feel good this time That's of the right. season, right? That's right. drinks are fun. Do you like eggnog? No, I do not. I'm not oh. a big drinker, 
hunger and I think um, the way my stomach is set up these days, <laughs> Um, dairy and me don't mix well. You, they have a lactose-free eggnog. Oh, well, maybe I'll have to try that. It is honestly uh, even better than the, the regular one. Thing. I, oh. I have both. I have all of them. I had like two gallons of eggnog yesterday. Maybe that's why I couldn't fall asleep. Now to the top three stories we're tracking, starting with number three. One man is dead and multiple other men shot after a fight between two groups at a bar ended in a massive shootout. Because of the investigation, we're told the southbound Monroe exit for Gulf Freeway is shut down. That is one of the main exits for Hobby Airport, so you're going to want to warn any relatives flying in this morning. Number two, the Texans will take on the Browns today at NRG Stadium without rookie quarterback CJ Str out. He's still in concussion protocol. Backup QB Case Keenum will get the start today at noon. You can watch the game right here on KHOU 11. And number one, Santa is on the move. We're monitoring the NORAD Santa tracker, which spotted him over Australia. He'll crisscross the other side of the world before heading to Houston tonight. Santa go. I hope he brought his umbrella. We are all going to need our umbrellas, at least in the early portion of today. I think rain showers start to clear up by two in the afternoon. Then you can enjoy a silent night. Nice quiet forecast after that. All right. Well, thank you so much for being up with us. I'm Katira Winfrey and I'm meteorologist Kim Castro. We are wishing you a very Merry Christmas and to kick you off, enjoy this festive moment of Zen.